Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Riss Beauty. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to never miss a video posted by me. So, just want to let you know I filmed this eye look. It should be coming before this video, if not after. In case any of you guys were wondering. So, I'm a little late on the bandwagon. I am doing my favorite skincare of 2017 and it's January 20th. Love college life. I want to do a makeup one, but not all of my makeup is with me in college, which sucks. So I'm going to do my favorite skincare because that is all with me and I have a lot to share with you guys of my gems of 2017 and obviously 2018. And these have just been really, really working for my skin. I get cystic acne sometimes, and I have a really sensitive skin, so it's really hard to find products that, like, don't break me out. You know, we all have that struggle, and that's mine. And so all these products that I have, which is a ton, I love, and they've helped my skin transform into a whole different, like, person. And I just am so excited to share them with you guys. So if you want to see my favorite skincare of 2017, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with makeup wipes. I've tried the Neutrogena ones. They are just too harsh for my skin because they have, like, alcohol in them. And I picked up these. These are the Simple Micellar Kind to Skin Makeup Wipes. Love these. These are great if you have sensitive skin and they really do get off like all of the makeup. Like all of this. I really recommend these. They're just soft and gentle on my skin. I have tried a lot of micellar waters, Garnier, all of those. This is just the one that works for me. This is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. Once again, simple is simple <laughs> they have simple ingredients and there's no harsh chemicals or perfume which is nice because the perfume is what breaks me out <clears throat> and this just has the most natural ingredients compared to the other ones and this really gets off all of my makeup i thought the garnier one did but this one works better like this one gets every single residue off my face. I wouldn't even have to wash my face if I just used this, but I still do. I discovered this face wash like three days before 2018. I was using the Cetaphil Gentle Skin, but this one is way better. This is the Purpose Gentle Cleansing Wash. You get this at a drugstore, and it's cl clinically shown gentle as water, which I agree, and it's developed with dermatologist. And I love this stuff to wash my face. It has cleared up my face so well because it's so gentle. And it's oil-free, soap-free, and no sulfates added. Another face wash I have been loving, and you guys saw it in my skincare routine video, is the Oil-Free Acne Wash by Neutrogena. I use this once a day. I use this twice a day, this once a day, this because it dries my skin out a bit. But there is it clears breakouts. There's no plastic microbeads, and it really helps my pimples like and my blackheads this clears it up gets my pimple like really small within one night and i have nothing bad to say about this neutrogena has really good skincare and i love this and it's drugstore so it's affordable another product which i left at home is the neutrogena light therapy red and blue light mask and i'll leave a photo right here for you guys I love it and it has helped my acne and my scars and that's and it's drugstore again and it's like your own at home facial sunscreen and it's the Clinique Virtue Oil Body Mist SPF 30. I have some acne medication that makes me sensitive to the sun so I need to apply sunscreen but I hate feeling greasy and oily and that just like breaks me out and even on my body I don't like it. This one is amazing. Love the packaging. It's not sticky, it's not greasy, and I just spray it on my hands and pat it to my face. And say goodbye to skin cancer because you won't get it because you got sunscreen. The two face masks I want to talk about. The first one is the Glam Glow Tingle Exfoli Exfoliant Treatment. I literally can't talk today. I love this stuff. This literally clears your, like, pores so well. It does tingle. It kind of hurts a bit. But it's amazing and it clears your skin and makes it baby smooth. Like, 
baby butt smooth. Other one is kind of like another at home kind of facial. It is by Ule Henriksen. It is their power peel. You will notice a lot of Ule Henriksen products in this video because they are my top favorite skincare brand. It's all about your skin but better and has helped my face transform so much. So this again is the power peel. It comes with three steps and I showed it in my skincare video that I recently posted like in December. So if you want to find out more about this, you can go check that out. But this has been a favorite in 2017. You guys all know my Juice Beauty Stem Cellular cellular Oil is my favorite thing in the entire world. I believe I did a video with this, another skincare video, like my first ever skincare video, like way back on my channel. And this is a holy grail. This is my third bottle. It gets, it's just like another step on getting your makeup off. It doesn't leave you oily or greasy, which I really like. And it just hydrates your skin and cleans it all. Gets all this residue off and I love it. So I have some acne scars and I've been using this bio oil. Um, it's specialist skincare oil and it helps all different things like scars, little stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging and dehydrated skin. And I picked it up at Walmart, and it's about like five or eight dollars. It looks like this. You just it's just like an oil, and you put on your scars, and it's supposed to improve the appearance of both new and old scars and help stretch marks and stuff like that. And you can use it as a toner. I put on my scars, and whoa, like this one, you can't really tell, or this one was super red, and now they're like almost like back to normal to my skin and they're not like really intense scars that they were thanks to this little bottle of magic so i love facial oils and this one has been a must-have in 2017 i got it for christmas in my stocking and it's the pearlescence rose hip balancing facial oil um i picked this up at tj maxx and this is amazing. My face is so dry in the winter time and this really just helps my skin tone. It's obviously balancing facial oil and it balances my oils. It balances my skin tone out and it really hydrates my skin and feels makes it feel so glowy and dewy and hydrated. So I love this first Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and it's supposed to help hydrate dry parched skin relieve minor irritation due to eczema and other conditions and it's safe for sensitive skin it has moisturized my face to the t i use this in the winter time so obviously right now and it's amazing amazing people go pick it up this is like 12 bucks this is a little one i love this stuff it gets all of my dry patches like gone Disappear, gone, bye. Moving to a lot of the Ole Henriksen products along with the power peel that I just showed. Funny me babies. This is Ole Henriksen True Serum Collagen Booster. This is like the old packaging. This is vitamin C. Your skin needs vitamin C. And I showed this in one of my skincare videos. I don't even know which one. And it's amazing. It really just deep puffs my skin and helps my redness and my pimples just deflate so i love this and to go along with it i feel like this is like a t like they're like a team this is the ole henriksen pure truth youth activating oil and this is with pure rose hip fruit oil and it's a little tim intimidating at first when you apply it because it's kind of bright orange but it blends into your skin and leaves you nice and glowy and i love the smell but this is like a power team like if you use both of these I swear your face will love you. Moisturizer is the Ole Henriksen, of course, Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. This also has vitamin C and licorice root and pea extract. It helps my redness with my scars, so it kind of like works with this one a little bit, which is nice. And I love this stuff. Focus. I love this stuff. It leaves, it's super thin. It's a thin formula, so I love it. And it leaves your skin dewy, glowy, not oily at all. Just like so glowy from within, basically. And it gives it such a nice hydration. And I have nothing bad to say about it. 
I love it. Obviously, it's my favorite in 2017. It is, of course, can you guess what brand? Yeah, Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen Truth Facial Water. So, goes along with the Truth Serum. And this is kind of just like a facial oil. I mean, facial spray. I love my Amira Budescu Rose Water. Sometimes it breaks me out. But it's not up here right now. So, I've been using this. So, that completes my favorite skincare of 2017. Can you believe it's 2018 and it's almost February? February is my birthday month. 19, here I come. Slaying the game. Sorry, Rihanna, I'm taking your place. Anyways, these are my favorite products of 2017 for the skincare section. And they have all helped transform my skin. My skin has never looked better right now. I do have makeup on, but <laughs> it has never looked better. And uh, it's, it's like a thanks to all these amazing brands and all of their products that they come out with. I just love it. These are great finds. And if you have any suggestions for me on any skincare products that you love and want me to try, definitely hit that comment section because I would love to know and try some new stuff out because I love facial stuff even though maybe it might break me up but I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> These are my favorite products. Give this video give this video give this video a big thumbs up. Comment if you have any skincare suggestions for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know the drill and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.